Where are we going, sir? Uh, oh yeah, New Orleans. What are we doing in New Orleans? We are gonna help people. Oh, we're tearing right. stuff down! Bethany, and we're gonna work in two homes. We're going to do rough demo and empty it of personal possessions. Take it to the curb, they're gonna pick it up. We're gonna wear Tyvek suits. We're gonna be covered head to foot in 87 degree weather with 100% humidity. We're gonna use crowbar hammers. We'll be using electric testing equipment to make sure the, cuts, the kids don't cut through any electrical or pipes. We're gonna get a lot done. I love it. When we first saw the Lower Ninth Ward, 
I really thought that we had arrived in a war zone. I think I find it so hard to describe the destruction and despair that New Orleans is in, because unless you experience it, it truly is impossible to grasp. What difference could this possibly make? I'm here to say that it is worse than you can imagine. Is it getting better? The darkness was everywhere. But do you feel the same? This place needs an army to put Will it back it on its feet. The devastation reaches far and wide. There's so much work yet to be done. We made a decision this year to be the hope. The mission became one of building and not tearing down walls and mucking out homes. We have made a huge impact already, but the work in New Orleans is not done. It was truly a life-altering experience. Through us does the beacon of hope for the people of the Gulf Coast shine. We can be that match that lights the fire. We can be the change that we want to see in the world. The change that God wants to see in the world. And it is our task to continue to raise this beacon higher and higher by being the hope that these people need to carry on. But I'm begging you that the work can be done. We are called upon to be the proof of his love. To let these people know that in their darkest moment, they are not forgotten. And that God sends his love through us.